Episode 56, TN, April 30th, 2024. Publicize individual clean air behavior as the norm. In episode 56, TN, 1. Publicize individual clean air behavior as the norm. 2. Canada, British Columbia would smoke on Facebook, April 29th, 2024. 3. United Kingdom, East Lancashire. People with wood burning stoves across East Lancashire urged to clear the air. 4. United Kingdom, Lancet, PM 2.5 and diabetes. 5. Michigan, Detroit. Air quality in Detroit, a reflection of environmental injustice and climate change impact. 6. New York. Control burn in central New York could cause smoky skies. 7. Canada, British Columbia, Cowichan Valley, Valley Citizen. CVRD would smoke reduction rebate program back for 2024. April 24, 2024. 8. China. Amplified positive effects on air quality, health, and renewable energy under China's carbon. 9. India. Wind and solar. But what else? India edition transcript. Clean Technica smoke from a dead tree. The amount of toxins that come out in wood smoke is remarkable. 10. Taiwan. PM 2.5 and decreased lung function. Joint effect of long-term exposure to ambient air pollution on the prevalence of chronic. 11. PM 2.5 and asthma. 12. PM 2.5 and autoimmune disease. 1. Publicize individual clean air behavior as the norm. HTTPS colon slash slash see there. Org slash 2024 slash 04 slash 25 slash hacking dash the dash her dash how dash social dash norms dash can dash inspire dash you dash and dash everyone dash else dash to dash change slash question mark FBC lid equals excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against with smoke emission particulates a 501c3 nonprofit organization hacking the herd norms can inspire you and everyone else to change April 25th 2024 norms are a tool for behavior change leverage the desire to belong focus on prevalence emphasize that the desired behavior is more common than people think this can counteract the feeling of being alone. Positive reinforcement, seeing others engage in the positive behavior, encourages a sense of community around the change. Norms apply to air pollution, highlight clean air choices. Campaigns can showcase people making choices that clean the air. This reframes these actions as the norm, making them more likely to be adopted. Community recognition, programs that recognize individuals for their efforts to reduce air pollution can create positive social pressure. Highlighting the collective impact of small changes, they can motivate people to take action. For example, a campaign might feature a slogan like, most people in our community use heat pumps, join the movement for cleaner air. By framing clean air behaviors as the norm, we can improve air quality for everyone. 2. Canada, British Columbia would smoke on Facebook, April 29, 2024. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Air pollution from home firewood burning for heat is responsible for far more early death than air pollution from any other sector reviewed in a recent Health Canada report, even though wood heating only occurs for about half of the year and is used by a minority of homes. This is not so on Salt Spring Island where we are surrounded day and night by this aberrant, archaic solution to home heat nearly year-round, if one adds in the wildfires. In addition to premature mortality, this source of pollution was also found to be responsible for a range of other costly health impacts. Non-fatal health outcomes attributed to home firewood burning included 1,300 cardiac and respiratory-related hospital admissions and emergency room visits, 9,300 child and 2,100 adult chronic bronchitis cases, 2.9 million, million, restricted activity days, and 5.9 million symptom days, including acute respiratory and asthma symptom days. All smoke is harmful to our health. HTTPS colon slash slash publications dot gc dot CA slash SCHC slash H144 112 2022 and dot PDF. So, with regards to solutions for yard burning and home wood heat, start by banning it completely, citing the above reasons, plus climate warming acceleration from PM 2.5. No longer can we allow the addictive pyromaniac cognitively dissonant to ruin everyone else's chances for a healthier future. They will get used to it, as most of the world has moved on to other cleaner, simpler solutions. Shredding, composting, burying, collecting it, and depositing it to the dump for mulch, creating economic opportunities to those with pickup trucks, etc. The time is now to deal with what clearly is, as Green MLA Adam Olson says, political inertia on this lack of action on addressing the extreme health hazards, class 1 carcinogens of wood smoke air pollution on Salt Spring Island. Two charts and a video. 3. United Kingdom, East Lancashire. People with wood burning stoves across East Lancashire urge to clear the air. MSN wood burning can be more expensive, is less environmentally friendly than other forms of heating, and can have a negative effect on peoples. Blackburn with Darwin Council is backing a campaign to raise awareness of the impact wood burners have on air pollution taking place this month. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. January 24, 2024. Blackburn with Darwin Council is backing a campaign to raise awareness of the impact wood burners have on air pollution taking place this month. Its highlight is Clean Air Night, which will took place overnight, January 24. It aimed to highlight the impact that wood burning can have on the environment and people's health. It is run by Global Action Plan, which campaigns for cleaner air across the UK. Burning wood in closed stoves and open fires causes air pollution. In Blackburn and Darwin, environmental health officers will be visiting people over the next few weeks and giving advice where they see significant smoke emissions. They are also inviting people to contact them if they want to check that their wood burning stove and fuel complies with the law. Wood burning can be more expensive, is less environmentally friendly than other forms of heating, and can have a negative effect on people's health. Parts of Blackburn with Darwin are smoke control areas which specify the kind of solid fuels that can be burnt and the type of stove they can be burnt on. The council administers and enforces the smoke control areas in the borough which includes giving advice on smokeless fuels and exempt appliances. Residents can support Clean Air Night by making sure that they comply with the requirements of their smoke control area. 
It is essential that if burning wood that it is properly dried. Councillor Damien Talbot, Blackburn with Darwin Council's public health boss, said, Using a wood burner or solid fuel stove triples the level of harmful air pollution in your home and can cause serious health issues as well as hitting your wallet hard with higher costs. The health issues caused by pollution can include a wide range of serious health problems, including heart and lung disease. Clean Air Night is an opportunity to raise awareness of the dangers that can exist when you burn solid fuels in the home. We want to help people to be able to heat their homes as safely as possible and reduce harmful air pollution in their home and outside it. 4. United Kingdom. Lancet. PM 2.5 and diabetes. 20% type. 2 diabetes cases linked to air pollution. Lancet study. NDTV NDTV. PM 2.5 particulate matter. The data has huge implications for people in the subcontinent. Indians are believed to be genetically vulnerable to the prolonged exposure to polluted air with PM 2.5 particulate matter, which is 30 times thinner than a strand of hair, can increase the risk of type. Shocking revelation. Lancet study links air pollution to 20% of type 2 diabetes cases. News 24. A recent study suggests that breathing polluted air containing PM 2.5 particulate matter, which is 30 times thinner than a strand of hair, type 2 diabetes directly linked to PM 2.5 exposure the world 24-7, YouTube, to chronic exposure to PM 2.5 particulate matter. This data has huge implications for people in the subcontinent. Indians are believed to be. 5. Michigan, Detroit. Air quality in Detroit. A reflection of environmental injustice and climate change impact the Michigan Chronicle. The American Lung Association's 2024 State of the Air report reveals an alarming rise in particulate matter, PM 2.5, and ozone levels, more than. 6. New York. Controlled burn in central New York could cause smoky skies, WIBX 950. The flames will also help clear excess fuels and rotting wood, which can help fuel forest fires. Additionally, the burning can also help control pest. New York. Controlled burn plan for May in Verona. Smoke expected to be visible up to 3 miles away local WKTV. Prescribed burns are low intensity. Prescribed fires ignited by trained personnel to remove excess fuels, such as vegetation and deadwood. That. 7. Canada. British Columbia. Cowichan Valley. Quebec singer-songwriter Jean-Pierre Ferland dies of natural causes at 89 Cowichan Valley Citizen. CVRD would smoke reduction rebate program back for 2024. April 24, 2024. 8. China. Amplified positive effects on air quality, health, and renewable energy under China's carbon nature. Simulated annual mean PM 2.5 surface concentrations in China, A, and changes in solar radiation, B, wind speed, C, and PM 2.5 surface. 9. India. Wind and solar. But what else? India edition transcript, clean technica smoke from a dead tree. The amount of toxins that come out in wood smoke is remarkable. 10. Taiwan. PM 2.5 and decreased lung function. Joint effect of long-term exposure to ambient air pollution on the prevalence of chronicsciencedirect.com. Similarly, a longitudinal cohort study in Taiwan found that long-term exposure to PM 2.5 was linked to decreased lung function and an elevated risk of. 11. PM 2.5 and asthma. Asthma risks on the rise due to climate change. Helio compared with exposure to PM 2.5 from industry slash transportation sources. Johnson said wildfire smoke pollution has been linked to poorer health outcomes. 12. PM 2.5 and autoimmune disease. Climate change linked with increases in autoimmune diseases, helio exposures of more than 20 micrograms per cubic meter to particulate matter measuring 2.5 m or less in diameter, PM 2.5, similarly were associated with a 13% increase. 